Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the eighth and hopefully last installment on how to draw this box. And now we're going to talk about how to, and if you haven't watched the previous seven, you need to watch them. And if you have watched the previous seven, I, I kind of made a mistake. I was drawing these tabs one inch tall in my, and I was actually using the measurements I was thinking about from this box. And then I actually made the box larger, and that's when I started the video. I started with a, a taller box. The lady wanted a six by six box, and so I, ha I had to kind of manipulate this to get it back to one inch. So the proportions aren't exact, but the idea is there behind there. So we've got this piece, and let's zoom in here. And you can see we just move it. You've already got that piece drawn, so you know that this is your your tab that has that is already in that hole. It's, this was already done in the previous videos, so you just get it right there. Now we need a tab to go in this piece of wood, or this is this piece of wood over here, but we need tabs to go in this piece of wood. In the in the this is getting a little bit confusing in the the rim of the of the dish or bowl so i would just get it you know get it close my snap to ought to ought to snap to that but it's not anyway just let's just use the nudge factor got my nudge factor set too high set it back to 0 0.001 and let's get it right there now what you want to do is hold down the control button and move it straight down to that line. Now, if you can think, well, we actually need to go to this line. If you think that this is the bottom of our of our dish or box, let's see how close we are. And on the first one that I did, uh, I was using half inch tabs, and now I'm using 0.62 inch tabs because I scaled the whole thing up. So when you draw this, it's so much simpler on your first time you try it. Make a half inch tab and make your box one inch tall. Because then you just move down a quarter of an inch. But we're going to move down 0.19. Set your nudge factor on 0.19. Click it one time. Then bring in your piece. And you can just see if it fits. Zoom in here a little bit. Let's set our nudge factor back low. 0 0.001. Grab our box. And you can see from the bottom, and you can imagine this is the bottom, and this is the top, and this is going to be our recess for the lid to fit in. Then you, all you would do is do the same thing you know, for so you would leave that. Let's move this box out of the way for just a second. You would leave that tab there. Control D. Do the same thing over here. And one thing about this, I mean, when we zoom in and you're moving at one one thousand of an inch, it's really good enough just to be close because you're not going to be hold down your control button. And then let's move this down 0.19. Then you can move this out of the way. Well, not grouped together. And this is the tricky part sometimes when you when you've been working on something and you've you've taken it apart. So let's see if this is all one piece. Okay, that's all one piece. Then all you do is hold down your control button and grab that piece and that piece. So you've got three objects. Then hit arrange, group. Now you've got that piece done. Now, uh, it kind of throws you off because the X isn't in the center, but it's taking in the consideration that this is longer on this end. So then all you have to do is just do it one more time 
or two more times, but just rotate this 90 degrees, or let's go, let's go 180 degrees. Well, that didn't work. 90 degrees worked. I actually want it. Let's go. I like working on the other side first. We got it here. So this is your, um, this is your front of the box. This is the side of your box. So all you're going to do is do the same thing we did just a while ago. We're going to take our nudge, our box. It's kind of hard to grab it. And just put it right there on that uh, tab. Now we'll move our nudge factor back down. And that's the difference in the curve of the laser. And then just bring in one more deal and you need to rotate this 90 degrees and just bring it in to right there get it close well I, I keep saying close and I mean you need to be pretty much dead on but I'm not going to take a lot of time to do this on the video but then you would just move it to the edge of your box and then move it over. Let's just do it real quick. Let's zoom in here. And then just, and if you ever realize that you can't get on your nudge factor, it's because you're still on your object. Your object is taking up a lot of space. So 0.19, move that over 0.19. And then hold down your shift key, group that together. Now you've got that tab, and then all you have to do is rotate it uh, around to the other side. Well, I'm messing up here. It'd be 90 degrees. Well, see, once you've got it flipped, it uh, really messes you up. So the easiest way, if you, if you get confused like I am right now, just kind of get it perpendicular and go, well, I need 180. That gives you 180. And then just move it, move that one to that tab and do the same thing. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Sorry for the confusion on the different size boxes. This is the box I actually started with in my tabs. So I hope that, hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.